Get the worksheet used in this lesson, as well as hundreds of others, at mathcation.com. This video is about how to add decimals. You can get the worksheet used in this video for free by clicking on the link in the description below. When you add decimals, you must place one number above the other number on your paper. So in the case of this example, where we have 3.45 plus 9.82, and we're going to add these decimals. I'm going to take one number, so I'm going to take the first number, 3.45, and I'm going to place it above 9.82. When you're adding decimals, you must make sure the decimal point is lined up vertically. Once the decimals are lined up, you can add your two decimals together through regular column addition. So we'll add the numbers in the first column together, then the numbers in the second column, and then finally the numbers in the third column. In the case of these two decimals, our first column is 5 and 2, so we're going to add those vertically. So 5 plus 2 is 7. Then we're going to add 4 plus 8, and 4 plus 8 is 12. So I put a 2 down here, then I carry the 1. 9 plus 3 is also 12, and then 12 plus 1 is 13. Now the decimal point, when we add decimals, moves straight down. That means that the decimal point will not change its location. So if it's here, then you move it straight into your answer. This means that the answer to this adding decimals example is going to be 13.27. Let's try a couple practice problems from our adding decimals worksheet. So the first problem on our adding decimals worksheet gives us 1.2 plus 8.4. Now we already know that we're going to take the two numbers and line them up vertically. So 1.2 plus 8.4. Now we have to line the decimals up and we know that our answer is going to have a decimal point in the same spot that the original decimals have once they're lined up. Now that they're lined up we can just add 2 plus 4 is 6 and then 1 plus 8 is 9. So I know that the answer to this problem is going to be 9.6. Number 6 on our adding decimals worksheet gives us 1.4 plus 9.05. Again we're going to write the numbers vertically so that we can add them and we're going to line the decimal points up. The last thing I wanted to explain about how to add decimals is that anytime you are missing a number in your column, you have to add a zero into the spot so you can complete your column addition. So now that our decimals are lined up, I'm going to carry a decimal to the answer. Then we can do our column addition. So 0 plus 5 is 5, 4 plus 0 is 4, and then 1 plus 9 is 10. So the solution to these decimals being added together is going to be 10.45. The last problem we're going to complete on our adding decimals worksheet is number 7. This problem gives us 7.08 plus 1.5. So again our first step is to line the numbers up vertically and we're going to make sure the decimal points are aligned. So now that our decimal points are aligned, we can bring our decimal point down for the answer. Any spot that we're missing a number, we're going to add a 0 in. So I'm going to write a 0 in after this 5. Then I'm going to complete my column addition. So 8 plus 0 is 8. 0 plus 5 is 5. And then 7 plus 1 is also 8. So the solution to the addition of these decimals is just 8.58. Hopefully this video is helpful for teaching you how to add decimals. If you found this video helpful, make sure you drop a like, subscribe to our channel, or check out our website for more premium math content. Thanks for watching.